everybody and welcome back to the Handbag Angels YouTube channel. If you are not familiar with Handbag Angels, then a big hello and a big welcome from us. Here at Handbag Angels, we create luxury handbag liners and organisers for a huge range of brands, including luxury brands, contemporary brands, modern brands, so that would include Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Chanel, Hermes, Pauline Paris, Coach, the list goes on. But here at Handbag Angels, we are the home of luxury handbag liners. On our YouTube channel, we like to talk all things luxury handbags, and today we will be taking a closer look at the Gucci Small GG Ophidia handbag. We recently picked this handbag up on a little shopping trip to Edinburgh. We got this in Harvey Nichols, along with some other handbags that hopefully I will also be showing you on our YouTube in the next coming weeks. Today, we will be doing a general overview of the handbag, taking a look at what fits, different ways to wear it, overall first impressions, and I will also be comparing it to some other handbag models. So first things first, how much does this handbag cost? Currently in the UK, this bag retails for £865 and it is available in this ebony and beige supreme canvas, so that's one we have. And then it also comes in a supreme canvas and white and also a pink canvas. The handbag is mainly made up of Gucci's iconic GG Ophidia print. So this main part of the handbag is canvas. And then these trims around the edges are in this ebony leather, which is also what makes up this shoulder strap. And then on the bag, there are no external pockets or anything like that. It has a zip top opening, which is a relatively easy zip top to open and close. Sometimes you get handbags have a bit of a stiff opening. This one is pretty smooth, making access into and out of the bag really, really easy. This long zip tab makes it even easier to get into the handbag because you can just pick this up and drag it across. You're not fiddling around trying to find the zip. And then another positive of this bag is that this shoulder strap is fully adjustable and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different holes that you can adjust the strap to. However, whilst the strap is adjustable, sadly it is not removable and it is a fixed strap. My first impressions of the handbag, I really, really like it. I feel like recently Gucci have been introducing some pretty random and quirky colours and handbag models, but this, this is just an absolute wardrobe staple. It's going to work all year round for such a huge range of colours of outfits and outfit styles. And I just think it's a great thing to have in your wardrobe. Makes a great everyday bag and it makes a great evening bag. Whilst it is a small handbag, I do think it's a very functional bag and it is a pretty decent size. And as well as that, it's very practical. Gucci's canvas always tends to be pretty hard wearing and pretty durable. It's also a really easy bag to just pop on your shoulder, then you're all set, you're ready to go out the door. And shoulder bags at the minute are also very on trend as well. And they have been for quite some time now. Looks like shoulder bags are here to stay. I mentioned at the start of the video that I was going to be comparing this to some other handbag models. And the first one I want to compare it to very briefly and just touch base on is, I'll pop it on the screen, this Gucci Fidia small handbag. Now I know what you're thinking, it has the exact same name as this one, minus the GG in there somewhere, um, but it is different. This handbag that I've popped on the screen is more or less the same, but it is very different in some really slight ways, but it is priced at £1,310. So there is about a £500 difference, roughly. And for that extra £500 that you pay, what you get with this handbag is essentially just a green and red shoulder, not shoulder strap, crossbody strap, I'm sure you could wear it on the shoulder as well, and you get a shoulder chain instead of this leather strap that this one comes with. So essentially you're paying £500 extra just to wear the bag as a crossbody instead of as just a shoulder bag, and in my opinion it actually looks better as a shoulder bag. You are also getting the shoulder chain, and don't get me wrong, it does look like a really lovely, really delicate chain, it would look lovely on this bag, but you can actually get that without paying this extra £500. So here at Handbag Angels, we actually sell handbag accessories as well as handbag liners. And this is our gold 40 centimeter chain. Now what you can do, because the bag has these external D-rings on the outside of the bag, you can just clip this to those D-rings, really easily clips on. And then you've essentially got the gold chain that you would be getting on the more expensive option. I know it's not the same. I know it's a different chain. It's not as an expensive and it's not a designer chain. But how cute does that look as a handbag charm? I feel like it makes the bag look a little bit more elegant and it just adds that little touch of sparkle. Now, like I said, this leather strap on the bag is fixed. You can't take it off. So therefore you can't 
use this chain alone on the shoulder, even though it would look really, really nice and really, really cute. The leather strap does get in the way and I was just thinking, could you maybe unhook it at that side, thread it under the bag and then reattach it at that end and put the strap underneath, but it's sadly not long enough. You'll be able to see there that it's just a little few, it's just a few centimetres too short. So the leather strap does get in the way a little bit, but I think the bag still looks really cute with this charm kind of just hanging there. And then you can double up the strap as well and use them both together. Or if you really did want to start using this bag as a crossbody, we also have crossbody chains as well. Again though, this may get in the way, but I have got a chain with me, which I will quickly show you what it looks like. So it's the exact same concept as with the 40 centimeter chain. You just need to clip the chain onto the D-rings on the outside of the bag. And then you've got a crossbody bag for so much less than this other Aphidia small handbag that Gucci offer. I mean, it might annoy you that you then have this in the way, but everybody's opinions are different. You actually might really like the look of that. And then it just gives you that extra use out of the bag. And to be honest, I'm gonna try and show you, but you might not be able to see. It doesn't really get in the way that much. Let me know in the comments what you think to the bag like this. Would you wear it like that? Or would you not let us know? So I did just want to quickly touch base on that and show you that you might really not need to spend that extra 500 pounds. I do think Gucci have been quite clever by making this strap fixed because that's then maybe gonna push some people to spend that extra money and get the one with the strap and the chain. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly show you that. And then the next handbag I want to compare it to is the Louis Vuitton Pochette Accessoires. Now, if you're familiar with that bag, you will know that the shape of this handbag is pretty much the same as the Louis Vuitton Pochette. Um, the Louis Vuitton Pochette Accessoires is almost impossible to get hold of. Every time I check the website, it is out of stock and you even have to call. Sometimes it gives you the option to call the stores, see if they've got any. It doesn't even give you the option to like notify you by email when it comes back in stock. Um, so this is a, a cheaper because the Pochette Accessoires is now over a thousand pounds, which is ridiculous. So it's a cheaper option and a much more readily available option as well, because whenever I've seen this on the website, it's never been out of stock and it's practically the same kind of idea as the Pochette Accessoires. The only slight difference is that the shoulder strap on the Louis Vuitton bag is removable, but it's not adjustable, whereas this one is adjustable, but not removable. Now let's move on to what you can fit inside this handbag. But before we do, I do just want to show you our handbag liner that we have designed, especially for this bag. This one is in the color Scarlet Red and it has one internal pocket. And that's just reminded me, I didn't show you inside the bag at the start of the video, so I'll quickly do that now. So inside the bag, it's like a beige cream colored canvas and it has one internal pocket on the back of the bag. That's like a slip pocket that you could use for credit cards, cash and things like that. But using this handbag liner inside the bag is going to protect that really pale interior from any marks, stains, spills and things like that and that's what that looks like it, i've just also by doing that i've kind of realized as well it's not got the widest of openings just this bag so that might be something you want to consider um but that's what the handbag liner looks like inside the scarlet red is just a lovely pop of color to inside the bag obviously you can go for something that matches the inside of the bag better so our nude teddy color would be quite a good colour match, or even treacle toffee to then match the leather trims. So let's take a look at what fits. I always like to start with a long wallet and do like a long wallet test because a lot of people have purses this kind of size and it's just always good to see if this standard kind of size wallet does fit in a handbag. So let's take, I'm gonna guess no. I mean, from the outside, it looks like it would. But then like I just mentioned about the zip, the access into it is quite restricted and I'm not gonna start forcing it in. Oh, actually, you can literally just get it in perfectly. And I was going to say, I did want to start forcing it and I didn't really have to. I just had to kind of go in from this side rather than the zip end. And then it did fit in there pretty much perfectly. A card holder or a small wallet like this one would probably be, be, be better in a handbag of this size because you've kind of lost all the room. Um, but for reference, a mobile phone will still fit in there, I think, just down the side of the wallet. So I've just managed to get an iPhone in there, but then I've not really got room for anything else. Maybe just a lip balm, slot that in. And I've also got a hairbrush. And then the bag is pretty much full already. So I would definitely recommend not using a long wallet. So let's just take that out of there 
and fill it up with some of the bits and pieces instead. So now look at all that room I've got with just the bone inside there. So let's pop in a small purse and a hairbrush and the lip balm is still in there as well. And I've got some other makeup items. Let's just grab that. And then I've actually forgotten my keys, but my house key and car key would definitely fit in there as well. Or to give yourself even more room, perhaps don't use a purse at all. You could just take out your cards and your cash and place them in the pocket of the handbag liner or even the pocket of the bag just to keep them safe then you'll have even more room having taken out this purse because this one is quite a, oops that one is quite bulky or you may just want to use a really slim card holder but i do think that this handbag is perfect for everyday use especially if you maybe travel on the lighter side obviously by everyday use i'm not meaning work this would not be a good work bag obviously but i mean like nipping out to the shops going shopping for the day going on a city break anything like that or maybe just doing the school run really good size because it fits all the essentials in there and a little bit more i personally don't travel that heavy whenever i'm out and about this will make the perfect size handbag for me and you do have a little bit of stretch in the canvas as well so you can kind of stuff a little bit more in there if you really want it but overall i do think it is a really decent sized handbag and a decent sized handbag that is good quality and it looks lovely and is under a thousand pounds i don't really think you can go wrong I know £865 is still a lot of money, but in today's climate of designer handbags when prices are just going up and up and up, I don't think this is too badly priced. And this would also make a really good first designer handbag. What a good staple to just get your collection started and just to have in your wardrobe. The only downside that I can see really is that this strap is fixed and that you can't switch it up with like a chain or something like that. But I do love how it's adjustable because you don't often get that on shoulder bags. So I've got it on the third hole and that's sitting comfortably under my shoulder. Maybe if I had like a big thick jumper on or a coat in winter, I would then make it longer just to cater for the extra bulk around my shoulder. So I do really like that it is adjustable and it's catering for lots of different sizes as well and things like that. And that does conclude today's video on the Gucci Affidia Small GG handbag. I keep getting all the words mixed up in the title of the bag. But that does conclude today's video. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments and we will get back to you. I will link the handbag liner for this bag in the description and to our website in general. So you can have a look at our website and all of our handbag liners. We now have over 350 sizes, so there are lots for you to look through. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Actually, I forgot to say one last thing to mention. Recently, we have sadly lost our Instagram account. We had just short of 30,000 followers. We built that up over our eight years of business. So when we lost it, we were absolutely gutted. We've started a new account and we would be over the moon if you could go and give us a follow. Give us a few likes and comments because we're trying to get back that community that we had grown and we've gained. So if you could follow us on Instagram, that would be much appreciated.